Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll, baby. Recording a podcast at the Peninsula Hotel. Yeah, man. That's what's all cool. about. What's up, guys? I'm here with Jordan Eigner of Eigner Performance. Uh, he's been here on a mentorship program for the last month. We started at Apollo the last couple of weeks. We haven't had a gym. <laughs> we'll dive into kind of what happened there. Uh, but first of all, mate, talk to me and explain to the audience about how you ended up here on a mentorship program. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm Jordan. I'm 26 years old. I'm from Geneva, Switzerland. Um, how I ended up with you, I mean, it first started uh, back in 2017. Uh, I was watching a clip on YouTube um, of Tiger Muay Thai tryouts and uh, you were the head coach and uh, I see you are running these guys into this, the, at the beach, you were putting them into some tough, tough, tough um, workouts and I'm like, mm, who's this guy? He has something special, you know, and then I just started following you on social media, YouTube, whatever. And after COVID, you started uh, to, I think you started your, po your podcast during COVID. Mm -hmm. So I started to listen to your podcast, uh, watching your YouTube videos, um, taking bits and pieces here and there uh, as an athlete for myself and also for, uh, uh, as a coach, uh, I use your stuff on me, but also on the people I coach, you know. So um, that's when uh, at some point you, uh, you, um, you reach out on your story Instagram and you said, hey, I'm looking for people that want to try out my online system because mm -hmm. you were just transitioning to a, an online system. Mm -hmm. I was like, hmm, you know what? Let me, uh, let me reach, reach out to Coves and uh, send him a message and uh, let's try this out. So I tried this out, uh, loved the system. Obviously, it was only the first introduction, but still I found it very good. All the mobility exercises, stability ki kind of got me introduced to all that um, all that system mm -hmm. and yeah one thing led to the other we kind of kept in touch you ended up preparing me for my uh, second MMA fight uh, a year ago uh, knocked the dude out in 15 seconds by the way this guy's felt worked. great felt yeah, amazing yeah. yeah felt fast conditioning was good yeah that's why I, I felt it myself right mm -hmm. as an athlete so then I, I trusted the system I'm like okay this works I've tried it now uh, I need to learn it more in depth so mm -hmm. I can apply it to my, my athletes, you know. And, uh, and yeah, I remember a few months ago you posted a, a story saying you were opening uh, up spots for a mentorship program. And I was like, man, uh, I feel like I'm hitting a, a kind of a ceiling in my uh, personal training uh, mm -hmm. career because I've only been doing this for two years now, uh, close to two years, let's say. So I was like, I need um, something more. I need to, to, to level up, you know. And also needed a break, like a vacation. So I'm like, this is the perfect, uh, yeah. perfect plan for me. Just reach out to you, say, hey, uh, what's up? I'm interested for the mentorship program. Uh, let's do this, you know. So that's how I ended up. Uh, booked my trip to Thailand and flew right over to Phuket to meet you. And here we are. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about uh, that process. You know, what did you expect to get from the mentorship program? Well, first of all, uh, as you've already uh, had me introduced into your system uh, and uh, we've been doing calls online because I was also doing an online mentorship mm -hmm. uh, with you which was highly beneficial before coming uh, to Phuket because I already knew how you worked uh, I knew the whole system not only mm -hmm. the mobility phase but also uh, your workouts how you kind of build it up into a, a specific session mm -hmm. So I wanted to see, the first reason, I wanted to see this whole system applied in real life, right? In a group class with athletes, with regular people, with, you know, young people, old people, whatever. Different people with different needs. So I wanted to see how this applies so I could um, understand it more and also teach it in a better way and apply it for myself, right? Because you're not only going to work with athletes, you're going to work with regular people, athletes, everything right especially early on as a young coach man like that was the biggest thing for me when I became a personal trainer I was like I want to work with professional athletes so I did my strength and conditioning course and you know it was it took years and years and years mm -hmm. of you know hard work sacrifice dedication and training regular people man just taking everyone that I could so I could learn my craft before I then got the opportunity to work with professional athletes but yeah it's it's a great way to build your experience, build your knowledge, man. And, and the great thing about working with everyday people is every single person presents with something different. So it's like a 
it's like different a, problems yeah different problems solve. to solve man and yeah. it's like someone asked me a question i'm like mm, i don't know the answer to that but let me get back to you and i'll go and like research it and find out do a course or whatever and then come back and you know it kind of helped me that's to be honest like all my regular people my regular clients they they were a stepping stone to help me learn help me grow mm-hmm. help me build my knowledge and my systems to then be able to you know, go on and work with professional athletes. So I think that's a really cool experience for you. So let's talk about um, the system and how you've seen it implemented, what you've seen in person uh, and how that's transitioned and carried over from what you've learned online and working um, or using the system for yourself and your people and then coming over and seeing that in action here with regular people in classes as well as high level athletes. Mm -hmm. Well, the first thing I've noticed is I mean, it's a huge system, right? Because you you've had you have the um, mobility phase, stability phase, and then you kind of don't really know where when the workout starts, right? Because you ramp it up. You have mm-hmm. a whole protocol of of bringing the athlete up to a certain point to uh, optimize the, the the session itself. So whether it be speed, power, strength, endurance, whatever we do, you kind of build the warm up in a way to optimize that session, right? So the athlete usually won't notice when it starts and when it ends the warm up, you know. Mm-hmm. So what I notice is that you, the system you can really apply it to anyone. Uh, it just depends on their each uh, each individual needs, right? So maybe we were working with Dennis Purich, right, who's gonna fight Rotting in in two days. He was in the system, but he also had uh, regular people that are in the, on the fitness retreat, right? So the, the same as the warm ups. Uh, you could use them uh, for both types of people, you know, and that I find it really interesting how you how you go into uh, like into depth of the warm up. It's not just a warm up, right? We're doing specific phases. For example, when we warm up with a tennis ball, right? Oh, this is because we getting our nervous system used to a particular stimulus, right? That mm-hmm. we want to adapt. Then you go maybe eyes closed, remove the uh, the visual system. Mm-hmm. And you know, all these little details where you are not just trying to make people run around for five minutes. No, you're, you're making them activate each system, which then is going to help into uh, the, the, the session, right? And the workout. So that when you do your workout, you're already fired up. That's what you want mm-hmm. to be able to perform more, you know? So I was really impressed uh, by system. Like you could really use bits and pieces. And even if you only have 20 minutes, you could still, there, there's no way you cannot w- have a workout because you offer exercises and like modules that you can do in 10 minutes, five minutes, even, mm-hmm. if, even mm-hmm. if you only have like a lunch break and you only have five minutes to work out, right? Time it takes to go to the bathroom. You can get a, a workout, a mobility workout in, and this is going to start and kind of have, you know, compounding interest if you do it every day. Absolutely. Even in five, 10 minutes, right? Mm-hmm. You were saying to me, hey, what's better, working out one day per week for an hour or just doing like 10 minutes each day when you have a consistent um, kind of uh, stimulus and signal that you give to your body, right? Mm-hmm. So very good system, you know, but a, a lot to learn, right? A lot to, to, to discover, so it takes time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I'm here for it, you know, that's why I took a mentorship program with you to really take my time. I mean, it's not something you're going to learn in like a few weeks, right? You got to no. understand it. Then maybe you work around it, you teach it, and then you understand it on a deeper level, right? Mm-hmm. So it takes time. And uh, I feel like I've, I've getting, I'm getting a grasp now on how it all works and fits together. Mm-hmm. Uh, so when I get, go back home to Switzerland, definitely going to try apply it to my uh, people, my clients. And maybe I'll get another understanding and then, then reach out back to you. And that's how we, we work, you know, yeah. so we slowly it's build like, it all right, up. man, you've, you've unlocked this level. Like now it's time to open the that's next it, level. That's it, right? Because yeah. at the end of the day, it's only the basics. Yeah. Like um, you, other coaches, you all teach the basics. But the, the, the difference is how do you bring it up? How do you prepare the athlete or regular people to do this, this, these basic exercises, right? Mm-hmm. And how you explain it, how, what cues do you give them so that they optimize their performance, you know? intention um yeah big one so like this that's the difference i feel like i'm i I need to learn learn apply learn always Mm -hmm. the same you know and grow keep growing so yeah yeah. nice man i appreciate that um has the mentorship program met your expectations (laughs) i mean we're currently in the peninsula hotel in 
in Bangkok, you know, our guy, like your guy, Dennis, is fighting in two days. He's fighting one of the biggest star uh, in one championship. You know, I definitely did not expect that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like yeah. I kind of got lucky as well because I, I came right at the preparation of uh, Dennis, and you kind of were really nice to me. You introduced me and kind of brought me on to the whole preparation. So I got to see the press conference. We're actually cutting weight right now, so I can see everything close by, you know, and like that's already a big highlight in my career. I, I know yeah. for sure. Probably oh, not, not going to get this a uh, second time, you know. Yeah. Maybe, hopefully, but you know, <laughs> like I'm just uh, appreciating everything. Yeah, that's cool to be a fly on the wall and yeah. like sit back and observe everything. Observe. But also, you know, you've been, you've been an integral part of this camp as well. Um, you know, I mentioned earlier that when you first came over, I was working at Apollo and that's mm -hmm. where we were doing the mentorship program. And then uh, just as you came over, I just returned from Australia. I'd been home for a couple of weeks for a holiday and I just returned. Your first week here, uh, I actually resigned from the gym, gave mm -hmm. my 30 days notice with the intent to stay and finish the mentorship program with you there. And then, you know, figure out the, the next steps. Uh, and they actually pushed me out of the gym. So. Mm -hmm we basically ended up working from a lake across yeah. the road from Watch Along, just down the road from my place and you know, pretty much running the last two weeks of our fight camp with Dennis yeah. from a lake, man, with no gym, no training partners, it was just you and I and you, know, uh, you were an integral part of the training camp. You've been you know, a coach going through the warm-ups, uh, a training partner, a sparring partner. So mm -hmm. I appreciate your help in this yeah. process as well, Thank man. You. It's yeah. been cool. Yeah, yeah it, go it goes both ways, you know, so, and honestly, like I'm grateful for everything that happened, even the, um, it's not a setback, but little issues you, you had at, at the polo, because I, the first two weeks I got to see the classes, right? I got to see you teaching the, your system to a group of 10 to 20 people two times a day, right? So I was busy getting exposure to, to people. You were sometimes giving me uh, the lead on the warm up, you know, here, mm -hmm. uh, Jordan, take the warm up. Uh, so I, I really got my experience in there, but then when we had this little setback, where they they kind of fired you before uh, we ended our mentorship i was like oh you know what I'm that's that's kind of weird though because i resigned and then they're yeah. like fuck off <laughs> like a week later not even that so yeah it's kind of weird but, but anyway. I, at the end of the day we ended up at our lake and I, I, that was all, even more enriching for me uh, as a as a personal trainer because at the end of the day you're um, your own business right uh, if you're working as a pt you need to do your own advertisement you need to do your own finance own everything right mm -hmm. you're the product you're the the teacher you're everything so i got to see how you as a person also as a businessman how you handle a setback or obstacles in life you know that mm -hmm. was really in, uh, interesting you know just seeing uh okay sweet we don't have a gym anymore cool we're gonna set up over there build this you know what let's let's run a, a nutrition seminar which we did at the um, at mama's restaurant mm -hmm. so it like busy busy i was following you uh and it was just yeah, I think that was the most enriching part uh, of the mentorship, even though we, we didn't have a proper gym. Yeah. Funny enough, because, <laughs> I mean, I, it's not only about the exercises, right, as a personal trainer. It's also yeah. about how you handle business, yeah. how you do your marketing, how you uh, find opportunities, right? How are you going to um, collaborate with people? And I was just following you around, doing business meetings and setting up the things we want to build. And that was, that was the best for me. Honestly, it was... Uh, yeah, I learned a lot, man. I swear. That, that's cool, man. Um, for the audience as well, uh, when this happened, uh, as Jordan mentioned, we were on calls prior to him coming out here, and there was one point where I was talking to him about you know how to build and scale the personal training business, mm -hmm. get clients in, and one thing I mentioned was you know running free sessions at the park, you know once a month mm -hmm. or every two weeks or something like that, and then linking in with a cafe or something close mm -hmm. by to run nutrition seminars, all for free to then bring people into the system, uh, provide value, show people your experience and what you can provide, and then kind of bring them into the system once they built that trust and you had that rapport and that decent relationship with them. And then, you know, obviously we had that conversation whilst you're at home, yeah. I went home to Australia, landed back in Thailand, you rolled in two weeks later, didn't have a gym and I was like, hey man, remember that shit that we were talking about <laughs> like two months ago? Do it. You're about to see it in action, dude. <laughs> yeah, that, that was awesome, man. And, and it's like that's why I came here for, right? Yeah. It's uh, how am I gonna build my uh, my business back home? Because I don't ha I don't 
work a job in a, in a gym, right? I only rent a PT studio. Mm -hmm. So how do I get clients? How do I uh, get people into my system, you know? Uh, this is what's gonna help me grow, you know, uh, as a personal trainer. So it was awesome to see how you set that up, you know. Just went around, gave some flyers away, prepare uh, um, some topics around nutrition. Boom, 15 people attended, very successful. Uh, it, was, it was a cool discussion, like open table around uh, nutrition, diets. It's, it's the best. And then you got emails. I just saw the whole process of you getting emails, you getting new clients. And, and that to me, just being able to see it like firsthand, you know, is, is, is very enriching. I'm like, okay, this is how you get clients. This is how you make your way to, to getting people to know your business, know your system. Mm -hmm. So that, that was the best to me, you know, it's a really good experience. That's cool, man. I appreciate that. Um, what are some of the big, best things that you're going to take away from this mentorship program that you can use back home? Oh, a lot of things. Um, you know, one, one thing I'll start with um, less obvious, let's say, is one thing I really noticed and also, which is why I wanted to see you in action, is also the, the all the non-verbal uh, things, you know, like how you, when you address people, how you posture yourself, right? Mm -hmm. How you talk to the, the people, like the, how you explain, you know, you're not going around, no, you, good posture, explaining things well also how you let's say how you set up the gym you know in a way that makes it easier for people to understand the exercises all these little things or how you for example we're at the cafe how are you gonna um, uh, go and meet new clients or talk to them or you know this to me is really enriching you know mm -hmm. so that that's the main like a big takeaway i got from it then obviously you have also the exercises the system uh, the warm-ups that we were doing, mm -hmm. um, the specific session power, strength, definitely going to apply this with my, my athletes back home, you know, mm -hmm. maybe build a small groups of five to six people and do uh, athletes uh, only uh, sessions, you know, with power, strength, endurance. Uh, that's a big takeaway for me as well. And also just the whole preparation of uh, Dennis Purich, you know, uh, mm -hmm. seeing how you handle his nutrition. You know, you went to Mama's uh, restaurant in... Um, in Phuket to do the whole meal prep, how you handle the, the conditioning, you know, different energy levels, uh, and, uh, energy system, sorry, mm -hmm. how you handle the weight cut. That's what we're doing right now. You know, he's uh, walking around, losing the last few pounds. Everything, I've just basically been into a professional fight camp of one of the best guys mm -hmm. in the world in kickboxing and Muay Thai and just see how everything works, you know. So, man, when I'm going to have uh, my fighters and when I'm going to be cornering them, I already have this experience. It's going to be awesome, you know. I just already know it. It's, man, what, what can I ask uh, for more, you know? It's, yeah. it's the best. Amazing. Uh, so for anyone who's kind of in your situation or mm -hmm. they're, they're thinking about becoming a strength and conditioning coach or a personal trainer, um, do you have any advice for them, people that, that are aspiring to work with professional athletes but, you know, haven't taken that step yet or have only just taken that step? Mm -hmm. What advice do you have? I mean, the main advice I would give is find the right balance between theory and practice. So like you don't want to be the guy that only does certifications, 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 but never gets to apply that knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. But you also don't want to be the guy that just does one certification and stops there and it's like, okay, I know it all. <laughs> I've, seen the, I've seen it all. I can teach everyone, you know? Because no, you're not, not going to progress that way, you know? And how do you find that balance? Sometimes it's hard because you get lost into like certification, you get lost into different positions. Well, get a mentor. That's why mm -hmm. I wanted to find a mentor, you know, because mm -hmm. you guided me through the process of, okay, cool, let's learn this. Then let's teach, you know, as you say, teach what you know. And mm -hmm. then you get, get to know it, uh, learn it twice, right? Yeah. So have someone that's going to guide you through your whole learning process and also how you can apply that knowledge, teach it. Because it's at some point it's time to to take actions, you know. Mm -hmm. And even if you don't know a lot, you still know enough to teach something and bring value to someone that doesn't know how to work out, right? Yeah. So, but sometimes you're so lost in your your studies and and everything that you just can't see see straight. Mm -hmm. So just find a mentor. He's gonna guide tr guide you through it. He knows the mistakes that you did. He's gonna help you prevent those mistakes and you're going to step up and level up your, your career for sure nice man yeah. great conversation dude uh just to start wrapping up if people want to work with you in switzerland mm -hmm. 
how do they get hold of you? Well, I have my Instagram page, that's Eigner Performance, right? A I G N E R Performance. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, as it is, I rent out a studio uh, near the central station, which is called Studio GVA, Geneva. And uh, they just can, can just contact me. Uh, I hold private sessions over there. And, and yeah, man, just uh, group sessions, private sessions, combat sport athletes, regular people that want to lose weight. Uh, at the moment, I'm currently based um, over there mm -hmm. at Studio Geneva, but I'm sure I'm gonna be around. And uh, now that I've got all this stuff that you taught me, I'm gonna have to start uh, going everywhere. You know, yeah, yeah. go home and start yeah. implementing. Implementing, man, I, I got a lot to implement. You know, now it's yeah. time to. As I said, now I learned a lot. Cool. Okay, let's. Ta it's time to implement now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. take action. Yeah, let's nice. see. Uh, live, train, perform. Live life to the fullest. Train to your potential. Perform at your best. What does that mantra mean to you? What does that mantra mean to me? I mean, it's all about why you're working out. You know, we all have our own goals, our own perspective and vision on life. You know, and and where does our workout and physical activity uh, fit into that? You know, for people, let's say athletes, it, it might be, oh, I want to um, reach the highest physical potential potential in my sport okay and then it's pure it's cool but some people it can also be just to keep them mentally uh, healthy right just want to work out because I'm I'm so stressed uh, about life just need a break just need to get my blood uh, running around you know and so it all depends but we're all there to kind of live you know all there to perform in our in our way in mm -hmm. our, uh, our perspective you know so that that's to me what what's the beauty about about it it's that it's not just for athletes okay you you train with a lot of athletes that's why you like to do right but your system benefits everyone uh, literally anyone anyone that has five or ten minutes to give away in their day they're going to benefit from it right and they're going to live to their fullest potential right so that's it love it mate appreciate yeah. it thank you cobes Watch it, freaks. Watch it, freaks. Boom. Thanks, bro. Yeah, it was cool.